In Elkins Park, Pennsylvania, there's a huge old mansion called Linwood Hall. It used to be luxurious for its time, but now it's empty and quiet, and people say it is haunted. At midnight, they say the air feels heavy, and you can hear sad music playing softly, like ghostly dance is happening somewhere inside. There is a story about a ghostly woman in a white dress seen in the mansion's kitchen. Her eyes look sad and she seems to be searching for something or someone. It is said that she passed away in a yacht accident and followed her husband to this mansion. And she has been sad ever since. Now her ghost wanders around the mansion. On dark nights, some people have seen lights flickering in the windows and shadows moving behind curtains, like ghosts have been silently partying. While the ghostly tale of Linwood Hall captivates the imagination, the true history of this grand state is equally as fascinating. When Linwood Hall was built, it was a remarkable symbol of the Gilded Age. The Gilded Age is a term for a period of economic boom which began after the American Civil War in 1861 to 1865, which estimated around 360,222 Union deaths and 258,000 Confederate deaths. Despite the higher casualty numbers, the Union ultimately won the war due to larger population and naval power. About 22 years later, in 1987, was when this massive property began its construction. The property was built for Peter Weiner, an American business tycoon known for his investments in streetcars and art collections. The idea behind it was that Linwood was to be used as a residential and to house his excessive and valuable art collections making it not just a home, but a private art gallery. This property cost about $8 million to build, which would be equivalent of more than $296 million today. In total, it has 110 rooms, of which 55 are bedrooms and 20 are bathrooms, as well as an art gallery and a ballroom large enough to accommodate over 1,000 guests. Peter Weiner put his heart and soul into the house and it was decorated with the finest furnishings. Back in its heyday, it required 37 permanent staff members to run it and a further 60 employees to look after the extensive garden. He no doubt hoped the house would stay within the family for centuries, but that was not to be. When he began the project, it was one year after his wife Hannah passed away in 1896 while they were on their family yacht near Maine. After losing his wife, Weiner felt very sad and decided to leave their house in Philadelphia, where then he started focusing on building Linwood Hall. Weiner and his family resided in Linwood Hall starting in 1900 for a period of 15 years. Then, suffering from ongoing health issues, often attributed to his deep sadness, Weiner died in Linwood on November 1915, when he was 80 years old. His older son, George Weiner Sr., was expected to inherit this property. However, a tragic event had impacted the family three years earlier. Sadly, in 1912, George and his wife Eleanor and their son Harry planned to travel home from a family holiday in Europe and they actually boarded the Titanic. Both George and Harry lost their lives when the Titanic sank to the bottom of the North Atlantic Ocean. Approximately 2,224 people were on board and more than half of them lost their lives, making the Titanic one of today's most devastating marine disasters. Eleanor was lucky enough to survive boarding one of the Titanic's famously limited lifeboats. And so due to this tragic event, Widener's only surviving child, Joseph, took over responsibility for the expensive state and received an estimate fortune of around $60 million, which is about $1.8 billion in today's money. Joseph shared his father's love of art and took over the estate's renowned collections, opening the home's private gallery to the public between 1915 to 1940. For this reason, the property became known as the house that Art built. Joseph passed away in 1943, but neither of his children wanted to take on the epic responsibility of Linwood Hall. The old property was left abandoned and quickly fell into despair. Since the passing of Joseph, there were some lowball offers by developers to purchase the property. However, on February 8, 2023, a purchase agreement announced for the property by the foundation with plans to restore the gardens and reopen the place for public, and to fully restore the hall as well. 
Then on June 27, 2023, the mansion sale was completed for $9 million, and ownership was passed down to the nonprofit Linwood Hall Preservation Foundation.